Um, you could select as many alerts um, or filters as you want, but you know, it, it's really all about trial and error and just practicing okay. to get your strategies. So sometimes you just have to, you know, sometimes, you know, certain alerts may not work as well together, but it just takes a lot of practice. So I definitely suggest if you're new, just starting out using the pre-configured until you get it down and you want to experiment with your own strategies. Okay. Okay. The next tab is the exchanges tab. You just want to make sure, you know, that all the exchanges you want to watch are checked and you would hit okay. And then uh, the next tab after exchanges is the symbolist tab. This allows you to basically watch any symbol list that you create. I'm going to show you really quickly how to create a symbol list. Um, in the beta version, this is not the beta version, but in the beta version, um, there should be an option to create a symbol list within this window. But for you know the regular version, you'll just go to the the main console window right here, okay, and go to tools and go to symbol list, and. <clears throat> By default, you know, the symbol list is going to show you all symbols. So if you wanted to create a new one, you would just enter in the symbols here manually, or you could cut and paste them. We're going to create a new list, and we'll just call this Marissa's list. And you'll go over here, it's empty, I'll double click on it, and this is where you would enter them in. And they'd all need to be like this, actually. Okay, I see. So, like, basically, you're you're typing in this symbol. Mm -hmm. You can paste them as well, but they'll just need to be in this format right here. When you're done, you can also actually load from file as well. So, when you're done, um, you hit OK, and then you can see there was three in there I entered. And then when I go back into the configuration window, and I go to symbol list. You just scroll down until I see the list that I created, and I would check it. And then if I wanted to watch that, you know, it says, you know, only the following list, you know, Marissa's list. You can also, you know, exclude the following list by checking the ones you don't want to watch, um, or you can just, you know, select all symbols or even a single symbol. If I were to check that, and then slowly, since I only filled in, like, a few stocks, you'll start seeing them pull up right Oh, yeah. Here. I s I see the Dell. Dell and D. But I'm going to go back in and uncheck that. And just watch all symbols for now. And then the last option in the configuration window is the window name. Obviously, this is where you can name your window anything you want. I'm just going to keep this one the same. But just for, you know, if you ever wanted to name mm -hmm. it, you know, Billy's or what window okay. or anything, you can name it anything you want right here. Another thing I just wanted to mention was um, this flip button right here. It's on the lower right hand side. It just allows you to reverse any strategy that's been created. So if I hit flip, it's going to just change everything around and reverse it. So everything should be different colors too. All right, so that's that's the configuration window in a gist. You can, you know, um, I'll show you later where you can access some um, helpful, you know, videos and tips on how to, you know, go okay. further with this if you want to learn more. But for now, I'm going to go back to this little pop-up menu and just go over some other things in here, okay? Um, the clear option is pretty straightforward. It just clears out the window. And then it will start fresh in just a second. We'll start seeing what's come through again. The collaboration feature is pretty neat. Basically, this allows you to share strategies with someone. So this highlighted code right here, you would just copy that and then paste it into like an email or Skype. And then it will convert that window into the shared strategy with someone, you know. So if I wanted to send this to you right now, this alert window, I would just copy okay, this perfect. and send it to you. And then you'd actually be able to open up the same window. Is that only amongst... Um other trade ideas pro users uh yes they would have to have trade ideas pro to pull that up okay okay the next little feature here is the history feature 
This lets you see what came through after the open or yesterday or last week, etc. If there's too many like symbols coming through and they're repeating a lot, you can just uncheck real time right here. And it's going to show you like everything that's come through since the open. But since there's so much, you can see like the time, you know, it's it's uh, 1137 now and like right here, it's just 1101. 1027 it only goes down to about an hour ago. So you would, if you wanted to see any more, you just go back to the history and then choose more. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to show you from 10 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. And you can just keep doing that and hitting more if you wanted. Just keep going back. It's going to go back um, the past 30 trading days. Oh, okay. Right on. <clears throat> but I'm going to check that in real time. Is there a way to pick a certain date? Um to test the history. Yes, actually it was right underneath it. Um, time frame. You can do that here. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, the next one, columns. You could just, you know, choose whatever you want to show up in your columns. Like I'll select icon. And then now you can see the icon. And when you double click, like let's say I let's say I make this window really small. You can't really see everything anymore that was in the columns, all you would do is just double click and then it fits everything back in there. Same thing if I made it bigger, you would just double click on it and it fits the screen again. Okay. So yeah, right here is where you would, you know, you could actually add all of them by putting add all. You can choose as many of these as you want to fit in your alert window. And the next one down is directions and this is just gonna, you know, this is, you know, whatever way, you know, that you want your um, alerts to come through. So right now I have them coming down. If I wanted them coming from the left, it would look like this. From the right, look like that. Coming from up, and look like that. You can start seeing them come from the, um, the time, the current time, to the bottom right here. Okay. But I'm going to change it back to what I had it on before, which was the alerts going down. And then colors, you can select whatever colors you want to, you know, for the alerts. Um, right now I have them on light colors, but you can change it to dark colors. They're so pretty. Simple colors. And even textures. 